So you know what I realized? I like making plans. I like setting goals. And I like having ideas. But I don't like making these ideas happen. I don't like doing the work. So what I was thinking was, maybe I can build a robot. Maybe I can build a robot that can do all of this for me. All I have to do is draw, make the idea, set the goal, and the robot will do it for me. Why are you so angry? What do you mean I haven't said anything to you for the past three hours? I was focused. I was thinking. Patrick, I'm going to need you to do something for me. I'm going to need you to build me a website. And it's going to have to be a good one. Yeah, I can't deal with any of these pre-made trash designs online. I want something real. I want somebody that can make something real. So I'm going to need to... uh, know that you can do this. Can you actually build a real solid website? Can you actually do something useful with your life for once? Hey Yassi, I made a list for you. A 10 step list on how to get your life back on track. Yeah, I've detailed 10 things you need to change with your life. I mean bad habits, seriously bad habits. Bad decisions you need to stop making. And I, I'm talking about like life changing things you have to do to become a better person. Honestly, I'm done with just watching you go over this over and over again. And I thought, you need a change. So, out of the kindness of my heart, I made this list for you. Bailey, my son, my pride and joy. I know you're getting older and it's time that you uh, start earning some money to use for yourself. So I've decided to set up a Bitcoin account for you. I'm going to be transferring you bits every week that you can put towards something nice. What do you mean he's just six years old? He has to learn sometime. Come on. Are you going to keep him a child forever? Anyways, I have here for you a list of uh, things you should look into investing in. And these are just some starting options. So you're going to have to learn to make some choices yourself. I need to see that you invest at least half of what you, I give you in something. And the rest you can put towards anything you like. Is that a deal? Hannah, I love you and I want to do something for you. That's why I've decided to put all our savings towards a trip to Madagascar. Yeah, we're moving to Madagascar. We're going to start a new career. We're going to build our lives fresh. Everything from the beginning in Madagascar. Yeah, we're moving next month. Why are you not happy? I planned this for you. For months I planned this for you. I thought you said you wanted to go somewhere. I thought you said you wanted to go somewhere exotic. And is there really a place more exotic than Madagascar? Have you seen the animals that live there? Completely unique fauna and uh, wildlife than the rest of Africa. It's a remote island and you said you wanted to go somewhere far. You... Is there really any place more far than Madagascar? Okay, Anna, I love you, but this moping around and complaining has to stop. You're never happy. You're always complaining about your life and your job and what's happening around you. I at least am trying to get us on track and to make a difference. But all I hear you do is sit around and say, Oh, it's not like I don't like it. I'm not happy. I'm bored. Come on. You gotta wake up. I love you, but I gotta be real with you. Your life sucks, and you need a change. Come on, you believe in the MBTI? That's total pseudoscientific nonsense. 
I I have more respect for people who believe in, believe in fairies than people who believe in the MTI. What do you mean I also talk about INFJs and INTJs? That's different. It's my own system. I remade it. It's new. It's the real deal. It's science. It's objective. It's critically developed typology. Okay, so... You know that time when I booked that Madagascar trip? I realized that maybe I was afraid. Like, maybe I was afraid to discuss it with you because I, I don't know, it's hard for me to let people in. It's hard for me to open up to other people. Sometimes it feels like when you open up something to other people, you don't know what chaos you're inviting into your life. You don't know what changes, what twists, what turns could happen. You don't know what people are going to do or how it's going to turn out. Yeah, I, I, I can be a bit of a perfectionist. I can be a bit of a control freak. But I've decided I want to change. I want, I want you to be able to do things your own way. I want you to be able to commit input and ideas. Uh, I need your input and ideas. This is not easy for me to say. But uh, I can't only count on my own intelligence to solve all problems of the world. Who am I kidding? I always need to do everything by myself. Why do I always have to do everything by myself? Why is everyone around me such an idiot? Why do people always make these mistakes? Why do people never listen to me? I told them. I literally wrote out step by step how to do it. Yet still they mess up. Yet still they ignore my instructions. I write out clearly. Make sure that all the HTML is proofread. HTML5. What do I see? This is old HTML. This is old version HTML. This is not going to work on all browsers. What are they thinking? If you open this on an Internet Explorer from 98, it's going to look terrible. Do you want my website to look like shit? Do you want to ruin my project? Or do you, are you absolutely incompetent? Oh, I'm going to need to fire people. I'm going to need to fire them all. I'm done with this. I'm going to do it myself. So, James, what would you say your talents are? Okay, so you're good at running. Do you also do well in school? Okay, what classes did you do good in? Okay, so you were good at math, but you were not good at physics. Do I get that right? Why were you not good at physics? Okay, okay. So, do you have anything else you can do? Is that it? Oh, so you can juggle. What's the point of that? Is that gonna make you any money? So, I noticed that you struggled to reach the top shelves. So, I got a chair that you can stand on. That you can use to reach the higher shelves. So, I put it over there. Also, I, I know that sometimes you struggle with recipes and like uh, messiness and organization. So I built a recipe book for you like and I set it up there so you can pull out and access all your recipes. It's color coded and it's set up and organized and perfect. So you'll find anything you want depending on what kind of dish you want to make, dinner, dessert, breakfast. It's all there. Breakfast inspiration, like lunch inspiration, anything you want, anything your dreams like. So... I uh, found out, okay, I did some research and uh, as a vegan I understand you need to eat this and that. So I also looked at um, all the ingredients that you need to have to make sure that your diet is healthy and balanced. So 
by looking over all the nutrition and everything, I realized we don't eat nearly enough uh, carrots. So I went ahead and got some carrots, and I think we should start using that more in our recipes. Oh, and I also saw that your frying pan is uh, made of Teflon. And, you know, that's kind of a plastic, and it's actually not that good for you, so I went ahead and changed it. Uh, and that coffee brewer was too old, so I got a new one of that one as well. Oh, you're gonna love it. It's uh, like uh, really good. It has different settings so you can make it depending on portion. It's automatic so you can decide how strong you want it. So it also adjusts to your drinking preferences and your when you wake up in the morning. So you can also set a timer for it so it's ready for you immediately in the morning. Isn't that great? Hey everyone, this was my INTJ 10 bad habits. Now, if you related to any of these, let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see any specific type made in the next video, also let me know. I have, if anybody wants to support my project, I have a Patreon website, patreon.com slash ericdor. And uh, yeah, I want to shout out all my patrons and all the people who support me. It really do, does mean a lot to me to have you all by my side.